Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah, greet you all with the greeting of al-Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'd like to welcome you for a new segment with the concise presentation of fiqh from the book of Allah and the authentic sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is segment number three and is still related to the subject of impurity. Previously, we talk about impurity and we give example with the urine of a human being as well as defecation. We also mention about madi and wadi and semen. And we talk about the dung of animals which are lawful to eat their meat. We also talk about the blood of menses and all the above mentioned things are impure that mean you are not supposed to be messing with it and if it falls in your clothes you need to wash it or to do the proper way to purify yourself from it last thing that we talk about was the saliva of the dog not the dog itself because some people they believe that if they touch the dog, they have to make a new ablution. Or if the dog pass by them, uh, that they have to renew their wudu, which is not correct. We're talking about the saliva, only the saliva of a dog, and especially when he eats in a plate. So purification of such a plate is washing seven times, one of them it have to be with dirt. So from this we understand that the saliva of the dog is impure. Number eight under this title is dead animals. It things that die in without somebody slaughtering it or So this animal, its skin is impure. As example, if you have a sheep, and this animal uh, was suffocated or drowned or whatever, that die without the proper way of slaughtering it, you could not use the skin of it unless you have to purify this skin. How to purify? And it tells you that also consider impure because the hadith of the Prophet Ihab is a term that utilized for the skin of dead animal. Okay? So the Prophet وسلم, is saying that if the skin of a dead animal been tanned, so now is became purified. And tanning is a process that be utilized for purif purification of the skin. So some people they may use water and uh, salt or some people use the salt directly and after this they put the skin in the sun so this is what we call to make tanning uh, there is exception from this about things that die without halal in it like fish when you take the fish out of the water the fish is already dead also the locusts like the grasshopper when you catch it the only way you catch it by kindle fire and they will be dead of those lawful to eat it okay because the Prophet وسلم, is telling us that two things that did been made lawful for us, and this is fish and locusts, and two blood.
blood made lawful for us to eat and this is the liver and the spleen of uh, of course lawful animal to eat things also that does not have a uh, you may call it does not have a blood in a sense that like flies as example ants bees okay it, they don't have a a blood in them okay and also because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that إذا وقع الذباب في إناء أحدكم فليغمسه كله ثم ليطرح <coughs> حديث which in the collection of uh, Ibn Majah that the Prophet ﷺ says that when the flies falls in one of you drink let him dip it in then throw it away because one of the wings of the fly is impurity or uh, actually not impurity say illness germs and in the other wing is a healing from these germs so from this we understand bees flies ants these things is not impure not not impure One last thing that we want to discuss about this uh, issue of impurity, which is the bones and the hair or the nails or the feather of dead animal. All these things are pure because this is the originality and there is nothing in Islam to show us that the bones of dead animal is impure. Imam Zuhri rahmatullah is saying concerning the bones of the elephant as example, he say I was living and I saw some of the salaf from the scholars of them, they using these bones in combing their hair, that means they make combs out of their the bones of the elephant and they did not see anything wrong with it Imam Hamad rahmatullah said there is no harm with the feathers of dead birds so inshallah we'll continue with other chapter concerning the way how to purify uh, such a thing that we mentioned to be impure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best thank you for watching subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka and Allah knows best